Tonight, a long-awaited health update from the Princess of Wales after revealing a cancer diagnosis earlier this year. Princess Kate writing in a statement released by the palace, I am making good progress, but as anyone going through chemotherapy will know, there are good days and bad days. Adding she is, quote, not out of the woods yet and that her treatment will continue for at least a few more months. I saw her statement earlier. I thought it was brave. I thought it was honest and I'm sure it will bring an enormous amount of comfort to so many other people who are grappling with some of the health challenges. The news comes nearly three months after Kate shared a video message where she announced plans to undergo preventative chemotherapy for an undisclosed form of cancer. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful, however tests after the operation found cancer had been present. The princess also announcing she will attend this weekend's Trooping the Colour, a military ceremony celebrating the official birthday of King Charles. This will be her first official royal appearance since Christmas. I've got to say, I think it's going to be quite an emotional day. We've not seen the Princess of Wales since Christmas Day. Actually, to be at a really important moment like Trooping feels like the most positive of updates that we could have hoped for. So I hope you're doing well. King Charles also announcing his own battle with an undisclosed cancer earlier this year, delighted that the princess will attend this weekend's festivities. You're seeing a united family. You're seeing two key members of the royal family going through their own personal cancer battles. The 42-year-old mother of three has largely remained out of the public eye, though this photo released by the Palace for Mother's Day causing a commotion when it was found to have been digitally altered. Various news agencies later withdrew the image and the princess apologized saying in a statement like many amateur photographers I do occasionally experiment with editing the photo that many will be anxious to see the one likely to be captured tomorrow on the balcony of Buckingham Palace and that picture that will be taken of the family on the balcony is hugely significant because that is the image of the monarchy that's projected out to the rest of the world the fact that she's going to be there with the future of the monarchy with the dynasty with the with the wales children is is really wonderful large crowds expected to turn out to what is already a popular event perhaps even more so this year oh it's completely wonderful I and mean, it's wonderful for all of us who've cared about her for so long. I'm glad that she's doing better and I can't wait to see what she wears as well for um, her first time in the public eye. Um, and yeah, we just wish her all the best. All right, Valerie Castro joins us tonight from 30 Rock. And Valerie, do we know any more about Kate's diagnosis? The, the palace is obviously being tight-lipped about the specifics. Yeah, Tom, that information was not revealed today. A royal expert says it's something we might never know. And the palace and the princess both seeming to indicate that that will remain private, at least for now. But, Tom, her appearance tomorrow is a sign that she might be out more in the public later this year if she's feeling up to it. The royal family does have a busy summer. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.